Hey guys, Zach here at Akai here, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be giving you 10 secrets that can be found in Rec Room. So let's get into it. The first thing up on our list is probably going to be the most underwhelming and most wide known. Nonetheless, the castle from Golden Trophy can be seen on the first level of Crim Crimson Cauldron. As you spawn in, if you look behind you, the castle can be found as Crimson Cauldron is the continuation of Golden Trophy. Secondly, in Isle of Lost Skulls, there is a pun to be found on the map. If you take a closer look, the large area of water on the map is called Vitamin C. Get it? Vitamin C? Once again, in Isle of the Lost Skulls, there is a secret to be found. Take a look at the puzzle pieces you gather underwater, and you'll see that they make up an image of good old Ghostbeard himself. Next up is a secret that can be found in bowling. Though it is hiding in plain sight, I never noticed it myself. The bowling balls have a thumb and an extra long, shall we say, handhole. Unlike the normal bowling ball that features multiple holes to hold the ball, the one in Rec Room has an extra long hole to accommodate our lack of fingers. Pretty cool how everything revolves around the models of our characters, huh? The fifth one can also be found in bowling, and actually surprised me a lot. A single bowling shoe can be found in the white lockers on the right side. Remember how I said everything revolves around the models of our characters? Well, I lied. And unless there's a huge update that I'm missing, I'm pretty sure we don't have legs in Rec Room. Once again, in bowling, there is a secret that has to do with Dance Dance Revolution. Or, as Rec Room calls it, Boogie Boogie VR. Looking at the scores, you may find that you recognize a lot of the names up there. Though I believe different names are there depending on which platform you play on, as I got different results from the Quest 2 and PC VR. The clip I'm using features the PC VR names, and please don't roast me, but the only name I recognize is Gribbly. Number 7. This one is kind of hard to execute, but it is possible. On the first level of Stunt Runner, there is a door in the far left hand corner. If you manage to make the jump, there is a piece of paper with the script of the crime show that is advertised all around the RROs. Number 8 is something I would have never found on my own, as I had no way of knowing about it. This is found on Cyberjunk City on Teal Team's side. Right next to the ladder coming up from the section below is a sandbox machine. Now if you don't know what that is, it is what's used before the maker pen. Without my friend showing, in, showing it to me, I would have never guessed it to be that important as I started playing Rec Room long after the sandbox machine. Which makes it a cool secret for those of you who know what it is. Now this one is more of the out there sort of secrets. I'm not sure if it was designed like this, but a friend of mine pointed out that the Rec Royale poster resembles pretty heavily one from Yosemite Park. Do y'all watching this think this was intentional? Because I certainly am unsure of it. Because although it resembles it heavily, that poster is also just of a plain island. So you never know. And finally, number 10 and my personal favorite of them all. This secret won't appear for everyone, as it only appeared for me when I played on PC VR. But nonetheless, in the laser tag map Cyberjunk City, binary code can be found in two places. First, being in the alleyway behind Teal Base, and the other being on the wall next to Te Teal Base's main spawn. The translation of the binary code is graffiti, in all caps, which I found pretty funny. Now, surprise, there's actually an 11th one. Well, rather, 10.5. This one isn't more of a secret, but something rather I believe to be cool based on the binary code. Once again, in Cyberjunk City, a neon vertical sign can be seen over on Orange Team's base. Though I'm not 100% sure about the language, as I do not speak it, but I believe it to be Japanese. Now, if any of you watching this video can translate Japanese or tell me the correct language that it is, I'd love to know what it says. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more by me, just click up here. Anyways, that's going to be it for me, so peace out.